Hello everyone and in today's session we'll do a small hands-on demo for Ansible modules. So imagine you get the task to install Nginx or set up Nginx on 50 machines. So as we are working with Ansible, we are quite sure this can be automated, isn't it? So let's see our test bench here. First things first, we have our Ansible master and we have two hosts in our host group. And these machines are basically your Amazon Linux 2 instances. And if you haven't seen the session where I've explained about how you can set up Ansible or how you can install Ansible and set up your testing environment, click on the link in the description or else you have a link on the top right corner now. So watch that video before moving forward. So having said that, the next step is to write the playbook, obviously, which will have the following tasks. So install the latest version of Nginx, start Nginx, enable Nginx, ensure that Nginx uh, is at the latest version by gripping the value of the version right now and get status of the Nginx service installed. And all these steps will be executed on the two hosts, which are a part of the host group. So let's start with our playbook. So when you think of installing Nginx on Amazon Linux 2 instances, if I'm going to use a basic shell script, it would be looking like yum update hyphen y. I'll use Amazon Linux extras install Nginx 1.2. This is one of the versions that I'll install. And Nginx hyphen v is the command to grab the value of the current installed version and systemctl start nginx which will start the nginx service and with this will enable it. So this is the basic ssh or shell script. So if I have to do this in Ansible, I have to use modules and I have to write a playbook for this, isn't it? So that is what we are going to do today. So this is the Atom IDE that I'm going to use as I've already explained to you before that uh, why is it very good. I have already shown you the setup of uh, Atom uh, for using Ansible so you can check that video. That's the fourth video in this series, so please make sure that you check that out. The first thing that we want is we need to write a comment. So it will be install Nginx, Nginx using Ansible. Then the first thing that I want to do is I want to give a name for this task. So name is equal to or colon uh, setup Nginx server on my server list. So this is my host group. So the next step is to give the host details. So host will be hosts will be my server. So this will be my pattern name and this will be the host group ID as well. But in order to execute the commands, we need to escalate the privileges, elevate the privileges as well. So we'll type become equal to true and then we'll define the tasks. So here what I'm going to do, I'm giving, I'm going to start off with my first task. I'll give it a name. So that will be install the latest version of Nginx. And uh, this will take a command module. So the command will be the one that I already showed you, Amazon hyphen Linux hyphen extras install Nginx 1.12 equals latest hyphen y. So hyphen y what it does is it allows the prompt to download or install the components that you have without giving the prompt. So whether it will ask you to download or install, it will ask you some prompt whether you have to type in y or no. So that will be done automatically for you. So once you're given the command, I'll just pass an argument value where I will be telling Ansible that Whenever you install Nginx, it is going to create a path on the machine that I'm going to install Nginx on. And if that already exists, then don't reiterate or don't rerun this command once again. So this is the first task that we have completed. So the next task is to start the service. Service. So same way, I'll use not command this time, there is one more module service that we can use. So this deals with all the services. You just have to provide the name of the service as I already told you before. So name will be Nginx and the state should be started. Okay, so this is the second task. So the third task will be, so the third task will enable the service. And here as well, I will use the service module again, name, will be nginx and state will be yes or enabled will be yes. 
and the next one next task for us was to actually grab the value of the nginx version so name i'll provide it name like get nginx installed version and uh, this can be achieved by using just a simple command module the command will be nginx space hyphen v the next thing we wanted to grab the status of the nginx service so what we can do is uh, we can just provide one more name here and we will just type in the name as get status of nginx service and i'll give another command that is systemctl status nginx so you might be thinking that these things are very basic that i'm doing right now but imagine a person who doesn't know anything if we start providing them details with so much complications they won't be able to understand this so i hope you will understand that this session is not just for experienced people this is also for people who just are starting to learn ansible so i just want to keep things very simple we can do fancy things here but i don't think that's the way to learn and that's not the way to actually learn things okay so just be with me on this one so once you have done this this is complete for your playbook and uh, all these steps that you see here all these tasks will be run on these particular hosts that are part of my servers group and don't worry i will be providing this the code as, as well on my git server so you can just use the same thing for your testing and you can do more experiments on the tasks and the commands that you want to use so that will be fun but we have a playbook right now but the most important thing for us is to basically run this isn't it so let's go and run this playbook i just want to show you the way that i have created these inst2 instances so these three are basically my ec2 instances the amazon linux 2 instances so this is my ansible master this is my ansible 1 this is my ansible 2 these are the two hosts so what happens is if you want to use these instances you can basically search them or else you can use something that or something that i use like the tool that i use that is termius so you can use this as well this is very easy you can create new hosts similarly i have created my three hosts like ansible master host one and host two and if suppose you want to add new host you can just click on this you can provide a name here you can provide the ip address you can provide the username the key that you want uh, the search key and you can log into your host so this is the ansible master i'll just double click on this and it'll straight away connect me to that particular instance i'll just um, delete all the things that i have so the first thing for us is to create the ansible playbook so what i'll do i'll just use vim install nginx will be my playbook name and i'll type the extension as yaml and just hit enter press i to go into the insert mode copy the content and just paste it here click on escape or hit escape type colon wq to save it and hit enter you can just scat once again to see the content so this is the playbook that we have and if you wish to run it what you need to do is first of all you need to configure the hosts isn't it so the so one thing that we need to do is we need to do sudo vi or vm slash etc ansible and host we have to modify this file so i have already written my servers here but i have changed the ip address so what i can do is i'll just modify this file once again i'll just delete these entries i'll just show you once again so what i can do is the one thing that i wanted to mention here once again is see the host name that you see here the pattern name should be same with the one i am giving here so it should be within the braces and we'll talk about variables so don't worry about this for now just remember that within the braces inside the ec etc ansible host file you can just modify this or you can create your own host file as well but for now i'm going to use this and already provided host file for me so i'll just enter the ip addresses here so i'll just copy the ip address of my first ansible host and i'll paste it here so for now let us work on the first instance then i will add the another one uh, the other one or else what i can do is i can just copy the second one and i'll just comment it I just first want to show you how it basically works so so let it run on the one machine that we have here and then we'll see what are the execution steps so just save it so add the entry for the host name that you want and just save it using colon wq 
So that's it. Uh, so what you can do if you want to run, you have to basically uh, configure it. So Ansible hyphen playbook space the file name that is install. And if you want to have a verbose, you can have three or four verbose arguments but i'll just keep it at hyphen one or hyphen v for me uh, and just hit enter that will run but basically if suppose you face permission issues then what you can do is you can configure the sh bash and you can provide the keys for these two uh, hosts that we have i've shown this in the previous video and that link is already there in the top right corner so you can watch that video if you face permission issues so once you have set the keys and the permission levels are correct then just run this playbook So now as you can see, it is trying to install the latest version of Nginx. It is on the first step. Yes, it has installed, it has started the Nginx server and it has enabled the service. And then it has ensured that it is on the latest version and then it gets the status of the Nginx installed. So the first thing that you have to notice here is just we'll go up. So there's the first step. That we have written play nginx server on my service list so if you go back you will see the same thing here and this is the first step install the uh, latest version of nginx so it has come to the second step where it has tried installing the latest version of nginx and it is on the same ip that is of our host one and it is showing you the command list that it's trying to install i told you the return type for uh, command will be the list of command that we are running right now and it has installed the package nginx package which are without any interruption and uh, the next step that it has it has started the service nginx server and uh, the change the status has changed from uh, to true and the name of the service nginx state is equal to started so once it has started it has returned true for this one and then the next step is enable so the status has changed to true and enable equal to true and the third thing it is returning as the latest version so if you see and this is the version that we are seeing here nginx version colon nginx slash 1.12.2 so this is the version that we are trying to grab here and get status of the nginx installed so this is the system ctl uh, uh, status nginx command and this is the output for this one so it is active and running right now and if you see ok equal to 6, changed equal to 5, not reachable, failed, skipped, rescued, ignored is 0. So our playbook has successfully run. So now what happens is this is for the only one and what I will do is I will just enable the other instance that I had, the host 2. So that we will see what happens if it is trying to execute the same commands once again. And what happens if we have more than one host and we are trying to run the playbook on the host group. I'll just save it and I'll run the same command once again. Let me just clear this. So let's see what happens when we run this playbook on both the hosts. So let's go to the starting point. So here what you can see it is trying to gather information about both the instances first and this is the instance which already had nginx already installed so if you see here in this step nginx the install nginx here you can see for this one it has already told that the changed will be false because this step already exists and s slash nginx already exists so it will not execute this step again so it is okay for us now so it does not want to install nginx once again but when it comes to the second host 13 2.31.21, the status has actually changed to true and it has executed this command so what happens is for every instance that you have in the host group it will go to the task it will execute them on both of or all of the hosts that it has in the host group and then it moves to the next step as I told you before. So it has installed the Nginx on the second host and once we come down it is going to start the service. So changed equal to false because the service is already started for this host, the host one. But for the new one the changed will be true because it has enabled or it has started the service for this. The same way the enable Nginx will be 
same or constant for the first host but it will be enabled on the second one and ensure nginx is at the latest level so both of them the change will be true because it is just trying to grab the values and here also the status will be true for both of them because the service is already running so that is why you will see five changes and here only two changes so let's see i'll just run this command once again and let's see what happens see for everything the change will only be two because it is trying to grab the values for only these two ensure nginx is at the latest version and get status of nginx installed these two only will be having a status changed otherwise everything will be green and it will be false because it does not need to execute these steps so let's suppose what happens if the nginx version is not there so 2. Dot, i'll just edit this to 2.12 let's see what happens okay this does not work because the path already exists let's clear this i'll edit this once again i'll just make sure it has nginx12 like this okay we'll modify something we just want to fail this let's suppose that version already does not exist so what it happens so see what happens is if suppose it fails here it is not moving forward again and if you see the topic nginx 2.12 is not found so you get the error message here that is the standard error and error line will be this one let us just modify the playbook once again and we'll just uh, keep it the way it was and there is one more thing that i wanted to show you guys uh, this was to basically copying one of the files from the ansible master to the hosts so that also we can do in ansible by using a configuration command so here i will just type one more command or one more task i'll just have keep a name here name colon uh, ansible copy file to remote server So whatever file that I provide here will be copied to a destination on the host server. So the command will be or the module will be copy which takes arguments as a source. So that will be home slash ec2 hyphen user that is the path of the home folder and sample.txt that will be my file and here destination folder will be slash home slash ec2 hyphen user that's it so if you want to copy this file from source to destination you can do that this is mainly useful when you're trying to execute a particular shell script or something you can do this by copying it or if suppose you want to keep any configuration files also you can do that i know that you can do that using shell as well but let's suppose you have a requirement where you want to copy this like log files or uh, zip files or something like that you can also do this so this is the same thing that i will do again i'll just copy this whole thing once again or i'll just uh, okay no i'll just copy this i'll just uh, remove this file i'll just modify this once again just paste it there's a new entry that i have to copy the files but ensure one thing that you have this file already present so i have sample.txt so what will happen if I execute it without that file? So let's suppose. Okay. So we'll connect to the one of the host that we have here, host one, and we'll I'll show you that it does not have that file already existing on its folder structure. So the home slash ec2 hyphen user. I'll do ls. So it is completely clean. It does not have. I'm not faking this. It really works. So um, the first thing that I want to do here is I just run this without that particular text file let it run the last step it should fail because could not find or access home ec2 sample.txt on ansible controller so this is a controller and it is not finding that file here so what we have to do we have to provide that file isn't it so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a sample.txt and I'm going to type 
hello this is the sample text that we want to share just save it and then do a ls to see whether you have the file or not yes you have it just execute the command once again yay this file is copied now what happens is we can go back to the host and do ls see see we have the file here so these are some of the few simple things that you can do using ansible and this is just a starting point for you and there are so many great things that you can achieve using ansible and the ci cd and the automation that you want but everything should start with a small step so take this small step try to learn more read the documentation and uh, so i think that's it for today's demo and i hope you will do this experiment as well and you will also try out by installing and setting up your test environment for ansible and please do watch the video that i have already provided you to create your test setup and please make sure that you follow these steps and you try and experiment on the commands and the modules that we have uh, so that's it from my side today it's uh, pytholic signing off